When American hospitals were built, they were designed to be a safe haven. None of us took an oath to take care of people, to cure disease and help people, and then ruin their life financially. They admitted me to the emergency room, and they kept me overnight, let me go the next day. This was the $8,000 bill. I had the top tier health insurance. I paid $1,842 every month. I got diagnosed with MS. And the bills added up. They have to decide to pay for my son's school, pay these bills. I'm dying. I'm on oxygen 24 7. Bankruptcy came. Bankruptcy came. I live off $940 a month. Some of my prescriptions are ungodly. Those pills are $300. Hospitals sue thousands of patients to garnish their paycheck. It is a system where we set egregious prices. How come our bills are so crazy? Imagine going to a restaurant, the waiter saying, this is what I think you should eat. Then he serves it to you. Three months later, you get one bill that says, oh, that was a $30,000 steak. You get another bill. You know the butter you put on the steak? That's $700. Oh, by the way, did you notice the fork that you used was out of network? So that's gonna be $10,000. About half of all federal spending goes to healthcare in its many hidden forms. I'm inspired by the young people on my research team. Come up to me and say how we can fix the waste in healthcare. Marty's driving a transformation that is almost beyond imagination. Providing your expert testimony as a physician, that's one way to be an advocate for patients in your community. For me personally, I chose to help out individuals who have been sued by hospitals. And when I've gone up to the judge and said, I want to speak on behalf of this patient, and I want to tell you about the money games, we win 100% of the time. My father encouraged me to write down the stories. I wrote the book, The Price We Pay, to help patients to be empowered. The price we pay being out, it ignites the movement to empower Americans to fight back against parts of the healthcare system. Get the book, you'll get angry. My hope is it will rally the 12 million healthcare professionals in this country to this cause. But one day we're gonna be that person on that other side of healthcare. When we need it, it is there. And it is not something that we should be scared of getting. Our goal is restoring medicine to its mission. This is a movement that is ready for everyone to join. We're gonna see a better redesigned healthcare system led by disruptors and held accountable by a generation of young people who believe that social justice is a societal value.